I wake up at the crack of dawn and then put bread on the table. My alarm clock says crack of dawn is about 4 in the morning, but I haven't put batteries in it since 85. But I'd say it's around 4 in the morning. I started working on this here land when I was a boy. My pa started as a boy. My papa started as a boy. And I don't know farther than that, but I'm sure my whole family started as a boy. My ma, my pa, my grandmammy, my grandpappy. It ain't easy work. That's the truth. Well, somebody's got to do it. Where else are you going to get your bread bowls? Buck is one of the hardest workers I know. He wakes up every day a few hours after sunrise, I'd say around 10. Now, I wake up at 9 to cook everybody some breakfast. Then, I take the bread that Buck caught yesterday and I put some holes in it. Now, what's the purpose of bread if it ain't got any holes in it? Sure, my family's been farming bread bowls since the Civil War, but nobody's bought them since the 70s. Dad says we can keep the house if we can just keep on appealing to hipsters and corner the old woman market and spray paint all the fast food signs to say bread bowl instead of big burger. I just don't get it. I just wish he'd understand that there are bigger and better things to farm other than bread bowls. This year has been some hard scrabble times, but ain't nothing Reagan to have to face. By the end of harvest season, we'll be thriving. Just last Tuesday, I saw this juicy tree. Buck's been making a real mess of himself on the farm lately. Luckily though, those bread bowls, they're able to suck up blood and dirt real good, so I can clean them up real quick like. It's a shame though. Back in his pause days, all you had to do was take some bread and throw it out there in that there farm, and bread would practically jump on out of the dirt. But now that that yeast family's moved in up north, all our business has gone by the wayside. We've been having to try new fertilizers, new soil, new bread, new bread shapes, new everything, just to try to keep from having to sell the gold we've got buried in the basement. I don't know what those rapscallions seem to have against us. They make us out to be some sort of oppressors or something, which is obviously not the case. We're just lonely breadstick farmers trying to make a decent living. Why, if you ask me, they've made themselves quite the inhospitable neighbors. Why, tell them about the dough balls, dear. Ah, yes. Our security system caught Mr. Wheat throwing eggs at our house. Only for us to go out to clean them to discover that they were dough balls. Yeah, they might be a little goofy, and yeah, they might have dove all our house, and they also might have asked if my teacher was a long-bearded hipster who wore a suit despite a business casual environment. But they've got a beautiful daughter. All we need is some pitchforks, and you can use your computer skills to build a farmer robot. Dad, that's a call to combine, and it already exists. A combine? You know I ain't never learned no math. Pa never let me go to school, and Ma could even put me in it. All I know is this here farm, and all you're gonna know is this here farm if you keep back talking me. You know what, Dad? Why can't we farm something new, something normal, like like breadsticks? Those are new, and the cute boy from up north is farming those. Cute boy up north? You mean that yeast boy? No, ma'am. You're that bit. <laughs> go to your room. bread bowl thing. It's bread bowl this, bread bowl that. I used up your college funds to buy more pitchforks. I just, you know what, I'm making my move and there's nothing he can do about it. What are you, oh. what are you doing here? I came to talk to you. Do your parents know you're here? No. Well then why are you here? I said I had to come and talk to you. 
I mean, you could have just messaged me. I followed you back a week ago. No, no, no. What I have to say has to be said in person. I wrote a little thing and it has to be said with iambic pentameter. All right, um, go ahead then. I'm beginning to think that she's just as crazy as her dad. Yeast, yeast, wherefore art thou yeast? What light beyond y'all's windows break? But love did prompt me to drive west on 65 and north on I-70. I think I'm in love with you. Yup, she's crazy. But rumor has it that there's gold buried under her house. Plus, she's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, so I'll try to respond amicably. Uh. Here, you, you must go. My parents would kill you if they knew you were here, and, and it would be a real mess. Now, come on back tomorrow with some money, and we can get married then. And we'll make a breadstick farm of our own, too. Okay? Okay. I love you! Hey, have you seen Wheat anywhere? I was looking for her to talk to her about her college farm. Oh, I saw her this morning. She woke up at the crack of dawn, and she was saying something about the cellar. Now, I kept asking her, what are you going to the cellar for? But every time she went, she wouldn't tell me. She just kept saying, don't tell Pa. So I don't know. Don't tell Pa, the cellar. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. The gold. Dear Ancestor, if you're reading this note, you must have come in search of the famous wheat gold. Of course, as you now know, this gold is not real. Instead, we must remember what is worth more than gold. Love. You should never turn away love for silly reasons. The true treasure here is the wheat family. And not only are we a family, but we're a farming family. There's no feeling better than going out as a family, digging in the ground, wiping sweat from your brow, and pulling out a fresh, ripe, crunchy crouton. That's what we are, a crouton farming family, and nothing's better than a crouton. Love, old man wheat. Well, she didn't have anything, but she's beautiful. Plus, we'll have our family's money. Our families don't hate each other anymore. And have you seen her? I think we all know who the real winner is here. Mm -hmm. I'm so lucky to have him. I mean, he's smart, he's cute, and he came up with a great idea for a crouton farm that our families can do together. <laughs> Boy, I'm just lucky I didn't end up with some fat schmuck who walks like a Neanderthal and has body hair like a moose. <laughs> <laughs> There was real gold down there in that bowl. I went down there years ago, dug it up, took the gold, wrote a note, and left it in there, reburied it. I took the gold, I put it in a real ugly bread bowl so nobody would find it, and now all I'm doing is waiting. See, I know for a fact that whole wheat is gonna fall in love and leave her old ma, and I know that buckwheat is gonna go out there in that there field, trip, fall, and die right there. So all I have to do is wait. Then I'm gonna take that gold, run it down to Florida, and start my very own Hawaiian roll farm, and be really, really rich. All I gotta do now is just sit back and relax. <laughs> <laughs>